Why is it some people say seven, other people say ten? Sure. What's the deal? So if you're going to just read through the 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 main teachers, okay. So there are main teachers who then said, uh, "This is one style of recitation." I've heard from my teacher; they maintain a lineage. You can take seven main teachers at the top. Some of those teachers then had students of theirs who off shot and became their own recitation. So it's like students who. Became their own brands. Became their own brand, but everyone knows where did their brand come from. Okay. Okay. So, so it's like Jordans and Nike. Exactly. But in this case, there's no Nightwing situation. Everyone's really happy to attribute their Batman teacher. Like there, there's no animosity that like. Um, well, Marsh, Nightwing did become Batman at one point. Well, but then we have to. We don't know how many you how many comics they've read. So let's just say there's no animosity <laughs> right. to uh, to catch. Uh, so to go a from to say, uh, so, so go, to go from, from seven to ten is the seven main, and then a few uh, teachers had uh, like uh, Nafi had. Two students, and then there are other teachers who had two. I don't want to throw names just yet. Okay, it makes things more complicated. And it, we're, when we say Nafir, we're not talking about Uqba bin Nafir. No, we're talking about a great reciter. He had two students, and from there the discussion happened. So let's go back to the concept that the Quran is allowed to be pronounced. So it yeah. was revealed, Maliki okay. then transmitted to uh, down south in Texas. So we're saying in contrast to the Arabian uh, Arabian world. Um, someone in Texas, in Texas, doesn't pronounce the same way. Yeah. So Maliki Yawmiddin was read, Maliki Yawmiddin. Okay. The Prophet وسلم, in some cases became aware and then asked the angel, is this okay? And the angel said, yes, this, uh, this astonishes me. Yeah. So the angel said, yes, Maliki Yomiddin, Maliki Yomiddin is okay. And here then opened up the the chains or the dialects. Okay. So in... So essentially, it's so it's safe to say that the different ways that people recite the seven or the ten, however you want to look at it, they are... The main seven? If you uh, so, so sure, the main seven. Rasulullah approved... It. Thank you. So nobody's making up yeah. and saying that this works, but the Prophet Wasallam stamped it, approved it, and that's why people have ijaza in Warsh, in Qalun. So each in- of these seven main or ten main, they link back to Rasulullah Wasallam to Jibreel. Yes, okay. yes, they link back and let's take the next step. So does that mean there are seven Qurans? The meaning never truly changes. It's always the same word. It's the same word. Okay, so Malik okay. and Malik. Okay. King, owner, master. Sure. So, yes, the king, Malik, uh, the owner. Yeah. Malik, the king. Okay. Okay, so uh, it, it's similar, but not exactly the same, right? But but for that word in that context, in that verse, it is encompassing of all of those meanings. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You, you totally get it. So, it's not that it changes the meaning. It gives depth to the meaning within the Quran itself. And that's why when you recite it in different ways, you are also extracting multiple, not multiple, but deeper meanings from what is there. Yes. And if if you don't mind me taking what you, what we just did in 2017, we found academic meaning. Okay. I believe the seven Qiraat are for the Walmart worker and the, and the farmer. It was actually this amazing Shakespearean 10 times greater level that, anybody could read so then, and it was the allowances that it was uh if i said if i said you must speak urdu in the way of the northern pakistani then the beggar in in chennai from our family is going to say i can't say musa sa because from where i am we say musa say it's interesting you say that I because fix, one of the authors can sound like you uh some of the jewish folk they say musha musha like Mushe. yeah a hey. so now by uh so this twang in the voice god is not saying no you're not your diction's not good enough he's allowing that in so it's not only deeper meaning yeah even it's deeper allowance to say uh listen to one friends uh wa qila lahum it's it's tough to get that qi wa idha qila lahum okay that's a fusing of the sound qil mm. وَإِذَا قُوِيلَ لَهُمْ That is allowance. Quila? Shaquila? Yes. So like, you're like some northern African uh, uh, country or a region at that uh-huh. time must have had the abil- uh, allowance to then 
I mean, some might say ability. Ability. Quila. Yeah. yeah. Or Sirat al Ladina, Sirat al Ladina, Zirat al Ladina. Zirat al Ladina. Okay. The fact that that, um, a lot, that range of sound gives me two things. God is letting everyone, good diction, not good diction. And plus, you have to throw and, that. And maybe good diction, not good diction is not the appropriate yeah. term, yeah. but maybe diversity of diction. Thank you, because I, I I almost elitist there. Yeah, but one's better. No, it gives the range, and then if you're okay with kind of thinking this through, what sound will your Lord have? If Quran occupies Musa, Musa, se, uh-huh. sat, sex, sit, uh-huh. all of the A's, when your Lord recites, what's the background sound? 